Troy Menzel come through before. Um, he's obviously right to go. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, yeah, I think pretty sure he's right to go. I think he's got a test this afternoon, but yeah, he's pretty keen to play. Especially, you know, he's an Adelaide boy, so he's pretty keen to get back and play in front of his home crowd. And Mick said that he wasn't sure about Dale Thomas. I don't think we've seen him walk through. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I think he's under the same sort of protocol as Troy's uh, having a test this afternoon. Are you ready for the big crowd that's going to be at Adelaide Oval and probably a hostile environment? Yeah, over there at. Uh, it was a portress, so yeah, I think most of the boys are pretty excited. We've all uh, spoken about how good Adelaide Oval looks. Um, I grew up in Adelaide, so I'm pretty excited to get back there and you know, check it all out. How important is it to get off to a really good start and sort of, I guess, you know, shut the crowd out? Yeah, definitely. You know, we played in Perth a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's a pretty hostile environment over there, so it'll be a pretty similar thing. Um, I think Mick said earlier in the week to, to the young Irish guy, Gussie, um, you know, it's going to be a totally different experience to the last couple of weeks playing in Melbourne. So you know, it is important to get off to a good start and you know, silence the crowd. They probably have more to lose. I mean, they're hanging on to the hope that they might get that top four spot. Fancy chances of an upset? Um, I guess, yeah, realistically, they do probably have more to lose. But you know, we're, we're playing for, you know, we've had some momentum in the last couple of weeks, and you know, we don't want to give that up. So yeah, we're probably on different different pages a little bit. You know, in two weeks they'll be playing finals and. You know, we won't be so yeah but in terms of more to lose you know we definitely want to win and you know get a, a win into states a, you know a big thing and the form in probably the last six weeks i mean you sort of nearly knocked off Rio, nearly knocked off geelong do you think you've sort of earned some respect back based on what we saw at the start for you probably a little bit but at the same time we haven't haven't got the win so until we actually win a game against you know a big you know finals team you know we probably won't get the respect that we we want or yeah, that sort of thing do you feel like you're edging closer though? I mean, you've had a lot of tight games in the last few weeks. If the game is tight again tomorrow night, do you feel like you have what it takes maybe and you've learnt a little bit from the last couple of weeks to sort of compose yourselves and, and get the full point? Yeah, definitely. You know, we'd rather be in the game in the last few minutes than totally out of it. So if the game comes down to the wire tomorrow night, you know, I'm pretty confident that we can get over the line. Well, we know that you can't... Oh, sorry, go on. Will the be able to, uh, I guess, cover Jeff Bartlett's uh, not being in there? Uh, yeah, that's right. um, yeah, look, I'm not entirely sure about who, who's playing and who's not, but I don't think Jeff's coming over. That's, uh, I can't really comment too much on that, but yeah, obviously it's disappointing as a club. Um, you know, I think a bit's been spoken about in the last week or so about the incident. So yeah, in terms of Carlton's standards and that, he obviously wasn't living up to those. So. Yeah, but the club supports him and everything going forward, and yeah, we hope for the best for Jeff. Do you know what his mental state is at the moment? Is he? Have you spoken to him? Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. <clears throat> he's played VFL the last couple of weeks, so you know he's put his hand up for selection. But yes, yeah, um, unfortunately, I don't think he will be coming over to Adelaide today. So probably a little bit, but yeah, in the ever since the incident occurred, he's you know he's put every <clears throat> every step in the right direction to you know try and do that. So you know he's he's remorseful and that sort of thing. So yeah, we're behind him.